Yo, dude, what it? <laughs> Whoa, slow down there, Square Enix fan. Do you know what you're getting yourself into? Bankruptcy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today for you guys, we got a uh, we got a real interesting one. My god. Uh, today we're going to be looking at some fabulous Kingdom Hearts merch, as you guys can see here on screen. You guys in need of uh, some whiskey glasses or something? You know, maybe, maybe something to drink your OJ out of, or your budget cola? You know, just anything. Maybe your tea, uh, your coffee. I don't know why you'd be drinking coffee out of a uh, glass drinking cup, but, um, you know, each to their own. So at the Kingdom Hearts 20th anniversary event, there was quite a lot of uh, Kingdom Hearts merch that was unveiled. To no one's surprise, this seemed like the perfect opportunity to step forward and present a whole bunch of new merchandise to celebrate the 20th anniversary. Uh, Kingdom Hearts is no stranger when it comes to merchandise, and it's sort of a weird thing to think about because if we skip back maybe like a decade or maybe look more towards like 15 odd years, there wasn't overly too much merchandise for Kingdom Hearts. Like it's certainly more common nowadays and I think it's an absolutely amazing thing. Whenever I see a piece of Kingdom Hearts merchandise uh, physically like in store, which doesn't really tend to happen too often here in my country, New Zealand, I, uh, I mean, I gotta do it. <laughs> Love me a good slice of Kingdom Hearts merchandise. I've got plenty of the junk myself, um, but I wanted to talk specifically about uh, this right here, the uh, the whiskey glasses or the glass drinking cups that were revealed at the 20th anniversary because oh my god, oh my god! From time to time, Kingdom Hearts has this weird tendency to absolutely mark up its merchandise. Uh, this is more specifically for like the clothing of uh, Kingdom Hearts stuff as well as uh, the jewelry side of things. Now look, when it comes to the jewelry, I honestly can't complain because uh, for me personally, I do like me a good piece of uh, jewelry, especially rings. Necklaces also go down the snack as well. And uh, there's some really cool Kingdom Hearts stuff out there. I think recently uh, they unveiled the chess pieces from Kingdom Hearts 3 as little like pendant necklaces, which I think is super cool. They come with a ridiculous price tag though, but of course, keeping in mind, they do use very real materials. So in that sense, I mean, a lot of people look towards jewelry and like, if you're not into it, you're not into it. But for people that are into it, they're kind of like, well, in any price is fine, it's jewelry. If you like it enough, you're going to end up buying it. The clothing though is especially expensive, like really expensive. I mean, uh, let's quickly look over here to like Secret Honey. Now, this is a really cool piece of merch. It's an Organization 13 female and male hoodie. It even comes with like the Organization uh, 13 like tassel bits around the neck. So that kind of gives you like a bit of an idea right there. I think it's dope. It's one piece of uh, Kingdom Hearts clothing that personally I really, really want. Uh, but it, it does come with a pretty pricey tag, not gonna lie. Coming in at about 233 USD. So for me here in New Zealand, that's somewhere around like the $300 mark, which that's pretty high up there. We have the Super Groupies collaboration here that came out around the time of Kingdom Hearts 3. Super Groupies is uh, a separate clothing brand over in Japan and like a lot of the expensive merchandise for Kingdom Hearts is usually Japan exclusive. But I think this is like raw as fuck man. Like the Sora jacket especially looks absolutely sick. Uh, they ended up doing five different lines uh, representing the different clothing pieces after uh, the different characters in Kingdom Hearts like Roxas, Sora, Riku, uh, Axel and Kairi, I believe. But again, they come with just like a crazy price tag. Like, I don't know, hoodies in my country are very overpriced as it is. You're looking at like anywhere from $100 to $150 in ZD for a hoodie. So like 9,800 yen, that's about the equivalent here in my country. But when you look at this like jacket, 24,800 yen, you're looking at about like 290 New Zealand dollars. It's absolutely insane. For USD, that would be uh, near on about like 200 USD, I think 200 USD or something like that. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty far out there. Scarf and pin set, 13,000 800? What is going on, dude? These were the pieces of jewelry that I was talking about. Like, when I say that the jewelry for Kingdom Hearts goes to pretty insane levels uh, in regards to the price, I'm really not joking. 
like look at this stuff like a hundred and ten thousand yen now keeping in mind this is all like rose gold gold uh, proper silver again they use all real materials so th this is actual jewelry like very real jewelry and that's something i can appreciate um, but there, there's pretty insane prices that go with this. Like, it is 18 karat, so that does make sense. But that right there is about, like, 1000 I don't know, like, $400 in my country? That is absolutely insane. But sick pieces nonetheless. I really like the, uh, the whole, like, chess thing going on with the necklace. I think that is sick. Even the organization thrones as well. Like, that is such a cool idea. But again, like, <laughs> we're looking at, like... Almost 1,500 here in New Zealand dollars. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's almost like uh, Kingdom Hearts is getting up to that kind of Gucci level of things. If we go over to the American Square Enix store, we have more examples of just very pricey merchandise, like 348 USD for a Kingdom Hearts wallet. Or are you more of a trifold kind of dude? Well, you can get a trifold for $358. What about a bifold? You might be more of a bifold type of person. Well, you can get yourself a bifold for 298 US dollars. Then we come down here to like the suitcase and we're looking at like 550 US dollars. Now I'm not saying like every single piece of Kingdom Hearts merchandise is crazily overpriced. Like there's some pretty good prices here for some of the stuff like you know if you're willing enough to actually buy it and you like it enough. Like the plushes I really really like. I am absolutely at some point gonna be grabbing the uh, Donald and Goofy one to add to my collection. Let's come back to this this bad boy right here. I think for the most part uh, you know most people can justify the prices of those other pieces of merchandise. Uh, that I just showed off if you like them enough and I guess the same idea or mentality could probably apply to this piece of merch right here But you got to be out of your goddamn mind. So I got to admit these are pretty nice um, I think they're crystal, but do not quote me on that uh, Crystal is usually more expensive than glass Now they come in three different colors black pink and blue uh, Do you do you know how much? This this singular glasses right here. Well, you guys can see seventy seven thousand yen. So if we go over to the little converter thingy me dingy uh, right here, seventy seven thousand yen in New Zealand dollars is eight hundred and ninety eight dollars for a fucking drinking glass. Square Enix, what kind of demographic do you think we are made out of? Millionaires. MILLIONAIRES?! I think we're motherfucking deep pockets over here. Like, imagine if you had your Kingdom Hearts drinking glass, right? The, the, the $900 drinking glass. You know, you're just standing at the party and- Oh, fuck me! Damn, there it goes, it's blowing up. Well, there's $900, dude, I'll just go shit myself to sleep. You've gotta be out of your goddamn mind. Now look, 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 I understand. Each to their own, as all that goes, right? If someone likes something enough, they're gonna buy it. And Square Enix will no doubt sell a lot of these bad boys. As far as I know, uh, this is, again, Japan exclusive. Look, I don't know the, uh, the average salary or uh, yearly income of someone who lives in Japan is. But, I, I mean, I don't know. It just seems to be that sometimes Square Enix think that hardcore Kingdom Hearts fans have the, uh, the big stacks under their bed, in the bank, somewhere in the attic, I don't know, but uh, it's, it's just insane to see the prices of some of these things. This though, tops the cake. You know, when we look towards like the uh, the Elba and Atta, uh chess set, I probably butchered the name of that, but th this is gorgeous. Like this is absolutely gorgeous. It's 700 USD, which is pretty pricey, but it makes sense. Th this price tag makes sense for what you're getting in return. This is the literal chess set from Kingdom Hearts 3. It is gorgeous. When I look at this, I mean, brother, I, you're having a laugh. Now, they do actually have a trailer for this thing, which I will play for you guys. Uh, it actually shows like the, uh, the glass being made. So it's all handcrafted. It was not made in a machine or anything like that. It looks like the craftsmanship towards this product right here is pretty insane. I would say like Bob the Builder over here uh, poured his heart and soul into creating this thing. But like, I don't know, even though he did that and I appreciate that, Bob. I mean, that's, 
That's 900 G's! We're talking about gold pieces, not grands, gold pieces. But yeah, like, they go right into detail with, like, the close-ups and the high-quality camera and stuff, uh, with the video showing us how exactly it was crafted. And it's kind of cool to know that, like, uh, every single one that is produced is made in this way. At least, I hope so, and it's not just the, the, the first one and then every single other one that follows isn't. But no, I'm, I'm kidding. Every single uh, glass is handcrafted. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. And I'm sure that these are like super limited quantities. I mean, at the end of the day, let people spend their money on what they want, right? Like, there's Funko Pops out there that are worth tens of thousands of dollars. And how can you even justify that kind of thing? I mean, you just can't, but you can if someone likes something enough. I do feel, though, as if they uh, put this video up to kind of help justify the price a little bit. Uh, at the end of the day, hey, hey, spend your money on what you want it. But that's 900 G's! All right, guys, that's all for today's video. I thought I'd just keep you dudes in the loop towards the, uh, the current Kingdom Hearts merch scene. Uh, hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Hey, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I would love to know. Have a guys, I'm Cynical, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Peace.